Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at secrets people would never tell. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I threw away my friend's Game Boy Advanced SP when I was younger. Growing up, we both played Pokemon Emerald and Fire Red together on our Game Boys. I had a DS with the Game Boy cartridge slot and he had a standard Game Boy. The years passed and we stopped playing Pokemon every day, essentially banishing our Game Boys to the dusty realms of the closet shelf. When I was 13 or 14, I stole my friend's Game Boy because I had sold my DS and Pokemon cartridges. I wanted to relive the early years by playing some good old fashioned Pokemon. One day he mentioned how he wasn't able to find his Game Boy and asked his mom if she had done anything with it. I pretended to be equally interested in tracking down the missing Game Boy even though I knew damn well it was sitting at my house. <laughs> oh my gosh, he was pretending to look for it. He was like, I wonder where it is. <laughs> Oh well. I started sketching out about him finding the Game Boy when he was at my house, so I put it in my pocket one day, walked to the public library just outside our neighborhood and threw it in the trash in the bathroom. I couldn't bear with the guilt of telling him that I had stolen it from him, so I tossed the evidence. We're both in our 20s now and he still brings up from time to time that missing Game Boy. He says, dude, whatever happened to my Game Boy? It has to be somewhere in my house. I shall find that for old time's sake. He shall never know about the crime I committed all those years ago. Apparently I'm a piece of shoot and my friend knows and is trying to get me to confess. This happened almost a decade ago people. I'm 100% positive his missing Game Boy is one of the last things on his mind. Oh yeah. True, true, true. Because like they're in their 20s now. I doubt he's still going to be thinking about that Game Boy, you know. So his friend asking him that just really shows that he probably knows. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, I guess they're never going to tell their friend, you know. They're never going to confess. I guess it's kind of just like sometimes when you lie for too long, it's just hard to confess. And once you confess, that just means every lie that you've made to cover up that lie is also a lie. So, dang, you know, dang. I gained access to the yearbook project room and changed a kid's senior quote from something serious to there is nothing moister than an oyster. <laughs> Why? Why though? Oh, <laughs> oh no. That's even funnier because the kid's quote was serious. <laughs> And they changed it to this. Oh man. Oh man. And I bet everyone's gonna be thinking like, wow, I never knew this kid was so wild. <laughs> you know how there's always that one quiet kid? But then low-key, low-key they do some crazy things, okay? And no one ever expects that from them. Yeah, this is what everyone's gonna be thinking. Junior year of high school, my class was registering for next year classes, so they brought us down to the computer lab, but there weren't enough computers for everyone. Knowing one of the counselors very well, she has me use the instructor computer at the front of the room. Well, just so happened that another counselor was logged into that computer, so full permissions. <gasps> So in addition to registering for next year's classes, a couple of my B's turned to A's from past classes. A few months later, I barely beat out a good friend for a scholarship because my GPA was slightly higher. They changed their grades? I mean, wouldn't someone find out if they did that? Surely, surely it's strict, right? Like, what? Dang, this person has the ballers, okay? <laughs> because if that was me, like even if I knew I could change like my F's to A's, I wouldn't do it because I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm like the biggest scaredy cat. Every single day in my life, I'm just gonna be like, oh my gosh, what if they find out? What if they find out? <laughs> So I would never do this because that's just way too stressful for me, you know. Riding in the car with one of my best friends, he suddenly has a very distressed look on his face and frantically starts stuttering about needing to find a restroom. I will never forget the sound, not 10 seconds later, of him himself in the driver's seat. I laughed my ass off all the way back to his house. I promised I'd never tell anyone. <laughs> yes, yes, but tell the internet. <laughs> oh, wells. Oh, oh, mmm. When you poop yourself, it's mostly diarrhea, right? Okay, I'm sorry if any of you guys are eating. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's not talk about poop. That one Christmas, a younger female relative of mine and I were fixing our hair in the bathroom and she asked if I wanted to make out with her. Relative. Oh, relative. Oh. Relative. 
Why do people do this? Wow, why? In Dutch, when you boil an egg and then place it into cold water to make it easier to peel an egg, it's called to scare the eggs. One day when I was about six or seven, my mom asked me to scare the eggs. So little joker I was, lifted the lid of the pan and yelled, boo! My mom cracked up and has been telling this story ever since for over 20 years. She's come to love the story and still truly thinks that I wanted to really scare the eggs. Truth is, I knew what scaring an egg meant and only wanted to make her laugh because she was in a sad place and time back then. Oh, It's made her laugh for over 20 effing years. That means it's the best joke I've ever pulled off and I'd die before I let her find out I was just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one is a good secret to keep because he made his mom happy. Oh, I can just imagine the faces every single time the mom starts telling the story like in their mind they're just like I knew what it was but okay since I love you you can laugh we had an old cat growing up named Tuna he was 16 or 17 and had a long and happy life but was really deteriorating my mom did not want to put him down as it was her cat and she seemed to be in denial about how decrepit and near death this cat was one day she comes home from the store and my dad calmly tells her that he found tuna dead under a tree in the sun she was happy he died peacefully and on his own terms what she doesn't know is that she actually ran him over as she was leaving for the store she obviously didn't feel him under the tire but my mom killed her own cat and we all lied about him dying in his sleep is freaking sad I mean oh poor Tuna I mean the only positive thing I can say about this is at least he was 17 at least he was old and like he was like about to go you know like he was near death She would be so devastated if she found out though. <sighs> Getting out of the bathroom wrapped in a towel, I tried to fart and shit onto the carpet. Wait, they tried to what? They tried to fart and shit onto the carpet? Or did they try to fart but they unexpectedly pooped onto the carpet? What happened? I let my roommate find it and hope that she would blame it on the cat. She did in fact blame it on her cat and I watched her clean up my poop mess. What the heck? Why, why didn't she just clean it up herself? You made your roommate clean up your poop. That's nasty. How could you? That I absolutely hate my wife's special casserole. I stomach it down with a smile because she and our kids love it. This is a wholesome secret. <laughs> like, you know, he just wants his wife and kids to be happy, you know. Because once you mention something about food not tasting nice, the whole mood is just gonna be ruined. Like, can you imagine pouring your heart out on a dish for your husband, and then your husband is like, ew, what the heck is this? Ew, disgusting, nasty. I'll be heartbroken. <laughs> and it would be so awkward. So, thank God she did this. Wow. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.